You're watching Inside Yellowstone. A few miles south of Mammoth and just south of Swan Lake Flats, a short side road to the east leads to Sheep Eater Cliff. Near the confluence of Obsidian Creek and the Gardner River, Sheep Eater Cliff is an excellent example of columnar basalt. The vertical rock pillars formed as basalt lava cooled and shrunk, cracking and creating polygonal pillars. The cliff was named by Superintendent Philetus Norris in 1879. Near the cliff, he saw remnants of American Indian dwellings called wikiups and assumed they belonged to a band of Shoshone Indians, the Tukatika, or sheep eaters. However, wikiups were used by many tribes. While there's no archaeological evidence to suggest the use of this cliff by the sheep eaters, there's little doubt they inhabited the park at times. They utilized bighorn sheep not only for food, but tools and clothing as well. Sheep eaters adapted to living in the mountains, inhabiting the Yellowstone area as they moved seasonally to harvest edible and medicinal plants to fish and hunt bison, elk, deer, and bighorn sheep. They used dog travois to carry food, hides, and provisions as they migrated. They may have used dogs as more than pack animals during hunting excursions. Sheep eaters built large wooden traps to funnel small herds of game, and the dogs may have helped to drive the animals into the traps. Sheep eaters also used rock and pit or brush blinds from which to ambush animals. They made stone pots and fashioned hunting weapons and tools from obsidian. From the horns of bighorn sheep, they made awls, ladles, spoons, and other tools. Sheep eaters manufactured powerful hunting bows from the horns of bighorn sheep as well. They soaked ram's horns in hot water, perhaps in hot springs, to make them soft and pliable. Then they straightened them and joined two together, wrapping them with sinew in the middle to form a strong bow. The sheep's horn bows, as well as the hides and clothing of the sheep eaters, were prized trade items among other tribes. They lived in the Yellowstone region until the late 1800s, before moving to the Wind River Reservation. Along the banks of the Gardner River, Sheep Eater Cliff is now home to yellow-bellied marmots. Look in the rocks along the base of the eroding cliff and you may spot one of these large rodents basking in the sun. Or you may only hear them chirping from the jumble of rocks that provide cover from predators such as coyotes and eagles. Look further downstream from the parking area and you will see another section of the cliff and more basalt columns. A short walk downstream is rewarded with a view of Tucarica Falls, which translates as Sheep Eater Falls.